All right, factorial notation. Good times here. Uh, on your calculator, you're gonna find this lovely little factorial button, and we'll get to that in a moment. Um, sometimes you have important sequences that actually involve special products, which are called factorials. Now, what a factorial is, is you're gonna see some number that has an exclamation point behind it, and what that means is you're gonna start multiplying all the numbers in front of it. So one times two times three times four, all the way until you get up to that point. So we're saying if you have a six factorial, what that means is you're gonna to have to take one times two times three times four times five times six, and you're gonna get your final answer. Well, you have 30 times four is 120, times three is 360, times two is 720. Now there is a button on your calculator that will allow you to do this without uh, you have to do this all on your own. This factorial button can be found um, under your math word? under your math button. So if we type in, we want to find six factorials. So we type six. If you hit your math button, uh, you get this menu. You have math, num, complex, probability. So we're gonna go to the right to the PRB, and if you look down at number four, there's an exclamation point. So if you hit four, it throws your exclamation point behind there. You hit enter. Dun, 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 720. Just like I said, calculators are so nice. Also, I'm smarter than a calculator. A um, couple things you want to make sure you know, though, is zero factorial is equal to one, and one factorial is one, equal to one. So this is going to be important when we get into simplifying or writing our terms of a sequence involving factorial. So we need to find our first five terms of the sequence given by our expression. Begin with n equals zero, then graph the terms on your calculator. So we're going to say a sub zero, a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, and a sub four. Those are our first five terms because we're starting with an a sub zero. So we're going to plug a zero into our expression and we're going to say three to the zero plus one over zero factorial. Well, three to the zero is just a one, so you have a one plus a one, and remember on the previous page we said zero factorial is equal to a one, so we have two over one, which is just two. You're gonna do the same thing for your a sub one and your a sub two. So we're gonna say we have a three factorial, or sorry, three factorial, three to the one plus one all over a one factorial. So you get a three plus one all over a one, which is just Four. And if we keep simplifying, you're going to get a 3 squared plus 1 over 2 factorial. So that means you have a 9 plus a 1. Now if you have a 2 factorial, that is a 1 times 2. So you get a 10 divided by 2, which is just a 5. If we plug a 3 in, you have a 3 cubed plus 1 over a 3 three factorial, which means you have a 27 plus one all over one times two times three. So that gives us a 28 over six, which reduces to be a 14 thirds. Good times, good times. And then if we plug in your a sub four, so we're gonna say we have a three, to the fourth power plus one all over four factorial. That will give us an 81 plus one all over one times two times three times four. So that is an 82 divided by 24. And if you reduce that all the way, that's gonna, only, well, all you can do is just divide that by two. That gives you a 41 over 12. So that is how you can use the factorial to help you figure out uh, one of your sequences.